Hello, I'm Marcel Bukmat. I'm Director of Product Management at Vico Software. In this session, I will explain how you can use one component multiple times in your project. In previous sessions, I talked about the use of components, so the cost items in Vico Office Cost Planner, as well as assemblies, which are groups of components that break down the cost of the assembly in further detail. And it typically happens that one component needs to be used multiple times in your project. And that is, for example, the case when a certain type of labor uh, needs to be used in, in several activities. By using shared data, uh, you can use the same component multiple times. And when you update a property of that component, for example, the unit cost, it is updated throughout your project. In an earlier session, we already explained that it is the code that makes the component unique. In this session, we will use that code to include the component in multiple assemblies. Then we'll change some of the shared data and see how that impacts the other instances of the same component. After opening your project, select the Plan Cost Workflow item from the Cost Planner Workflow panel. Insert a new subcomponent in one of the components in your project. Enter a quantity as well as a unit cost. Select another component and for the code, enter the code of the previously defined component. You will see that the description as well as the unit cost are copied automatically. Entering a different quantity and a different consumption does not affect the previous component. Now let's go ahead and change the cost per unit of one of the instances. You'll notice that the other instance of the same component is updated right away. Now let's update the description. Again, after committing the change, the description of the second instance is updated as well. As mentioned earlier, changing the consumption factor or the waste slash factor value does not have an impact on any other instances. This is unique for this component in this assembly. In summary, the code is what makes a component unique, and by inserting the same code somewhere else in the project, we copy all shared data, which is how the component can be used in multiple assemblies. By changing any of the shared data, like description and cost per unit, it is updated everywhere in the project.